affects his personal and professional life. As when a person becomes unhealthy, he becomes poor in performing the daily tasks or in any workplace which leads to affecting his professional relationship. Therefore, using drugs or addiction of drug addiction in drugs is a very dangerous thing. So one must stay away from drugs, say no to drugs and say yes to life. Thank you everyone. Thank you. When you truly want to give a good answer, you have to really actually take time, think and speak. Thank you, that was contestant number six. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the remaining seven contestants from both the male and the female categories competing for Mr. and Miss Mega Model Hunt 2022. We'll move on again with the questions. Contestant number seven, Your question is, does tobacco causes cancer? If so, why? Thank you ma'am for the question. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, respected judges. According to my opinion, yes tobacco causes cancer because tobacco is an addictive and dangerous substance that contains various chemicals and uh, that causes various chemicals and deadly, uh, deadly substances that um, that when people consume, uh, it deteriorates their immune system and so it also affects them. Thank you. Contestant number seven. Mr. Mega Model Hunt 2022, contestant number seven. Your question is, what is your opinion on women trafficking? Thank you, thank you Miss, for the question. And good evening to one and all. Mm. Women trafficking. Mm. Women trafficking. These women traffic traffickers are those people who unlawfully uh, kidnap women or girls for for child labor or for sexual harassment and for uh, economic gain. Thank you. Next, contestant number eight. Contestant number eight, your question is, can sex offenders be effectively managed by law? Thank you so much, ma'am, for your question. Most respected our judges and to all the beautiful ladies and gentlemen out here, my answer will be yes. It can be managed by the law. Why? Because there are lots of laws and articles where the offenders can be punished according to the laws. Thank you. Contestant number eight. Contestant number eight, your question is, do you think smoking is injurious to health? Why? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Respected panel of judges, Beautiful horse, fellow worthy contestants, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you, Miss, for the question. Well, yes, tobacco is tobacco and smoking is injurious to health, not only to the smoker but also to the environment and people around him. We all know smokers they do have health effects by smoking, but we all know the people around the smokers who we call them passive smokers. They are they are at more risk. Smoking causes lung cancer, throat cancer, asthma, etc. Thank you. 
Thank you. That was a very smart answer. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, most of the questions that we are asking to the contestants are based on trafficking as well as drug and alcohol abuse. The show is about, um, you know, spreading the message in order to stop trafficking as well as, um, you know, alcohol and drug abuse. So the, all the questions are based on those topics. We move on again. Up next we have contestant number nine. Contestant number nine, your question is, is our state safe from sexual harassment? If so, why? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Respect of our judges and all my friends. Thank you, ma'am, for the question. Yeah, no, sorry. Can you please repeat that? Sure. Is our state safe from sexual harassment? If so, why? Well, according to my perspective, Nagaland state is not safe from sexual harassment because there are lots of places, cases that is uh, doing these things, but people are fearing to tell or people's credibility or embarrassment. They hide the sexual abuse of, of the girl child and they don't speak up. So we one should encourage to speak up for the girl who was being sexually harassed and the harasser should be ashamed of by their action. Thank you. Thank you. Contestant number nine. Contestant number nine, your question is, even if you don't consume alcohol or drugs, what is your advice on the upcoming generation? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank you for the questions, ma'am. Even if I don't take alcohol, my advice would be to, to the younger generations to have the determinations and to believe and to stay away from those tox intoxicant things and also should not and also in life should know how to mingle with the, how to mingle or choose the wrong persons and also should have a meditations of own self Thank you. Thank you. Contestant number 10. Contestant number 10, your question is, what are the advantages and disadvantages of mobile phones? Good evening, everyone. And thank you, ma'am, for a question. Well, we all know we all know that mobile phones have become a big part of our life and, it's, and it has its own advantages and disadvantages. Some of the advantages of mobile phones is that we can communicate with people anytime and anywhere and also we can find knowledge and we can do our proje projects through the internet. But at the same time, it has its own disadvantages. We cannot communicate uh, we cannot re communicate with face-to-face uh, -face with our friends and family and also if we overuse it, we tend to have mental health issues. Thank you. Thank you. Contestant number 10. Contestant number 10, your question is, is your neighbor, if your neighbor faces abusive parenting, what would you do? Good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and respected judges, and thank you, ma'am, for this beautiful question. I would like to say that if, if my neighbor 
have an abusive parents, then first of all, as an education student, as an education honor student, I would like to say that first of all, I would like to go and approach to the parents because of the parents only the child is neglecting and he is going in a bad way. So, in order to advise them, we need to educate the parents first. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the last remaining four contestants taking the question. Contestant number 11. Your question is, how would you cope up with someone who suffers from with depression? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, ma'am, for your question. So, my answer to this will be, anxiety and depression is something we humans must take it seriously in this generation because it is something that people are suffering and taking their life even. So, I will deal to everyone here present here, consult your friend if they are suffering from depression. Do not hesitate to listen to what they say. Thank you. Contestant number 11. Contestant number 11, your question is, what is a human trafficker? Well, thank you, ma'am, for the question. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My answer to this will be human trafficking, in a simple term, we can say it as a sexual exploitation. Well, we as a citizen of a democratic country, we can say that I have the right to voice out my voice, the rights that I have. And let us all stand together and raise our voice to have this campaign or to force to put this human tra trafficking into an end. Thank you all. Thank you. Our last two contestants taking the question. Contestant number 12. Contestant number 12, your question is, can someone get positive results being diagnosed with anxiety from a medical expert? If so, why? Thank you, Miss, for the question, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, and I believe that every one of us feel anxious every now and then from school, in the school office, relationships, and the list to go. But mental illness is a different case, which I believe is a severe, which I believe is a severe, and should not be ignored. However, a person who suffers with anxiety or depression should seek the help of medical attention and seek help from the expertise at the earliest. Thank you. Thank you. And a last contestant taking the question. Contestant number 12. Contestant number 12, your question is, does the victim of human trafficking have the right to file a, a claim for compensation against the human trafficker? Uh, blessed good evening to each and every one of you present here, respected juries, and thank you so much, ma'am, for the question. So, in my opinion, I would say that it's a yes, because during the process of trafficking, the victim faces various kinds of violences such as mental violence, physical violence and psychological violence. And in the Indian constitution or various constitutions of the world's other countries, there are laws which are against these violences. And during the process when the claims are given to the victim, he or she has the sense of judgment and it also prevents from re-victimization. Thank you so much. Thank you. Those were wonderful, smart, intelligent, wise answers coming from the contestants vying for the title of Mr. and Ms. Mega Model Hunt 2022. I believe the judges are having a very difficult time. After listening to all the answers, the contestants has to say 
with the questions that I've taken. Um, okay, so um, I think this time, I think we need a little bit of interaction with um, the judges as well, our three panel of judges. Um, okay, I think I'll first go with our one of our judge, Mr. Ravi Ranjan Kumar. Okay, what are your thoughts on the contestants of their performance, their presentation? Maybe we can hear what the judges have to say. Ravi Ranjan Kumar. Thank you. Uh, on the I've forgotten their assignment to prepare their homework. But I believe that you know they will do better the next round, so I am expecting so much more. Thank you. Okay, so um, thank you for all the suggestions and then this is a steady, uh, starting and uh, need some more grooming, but uh, yeah, some conditions are very good performance. Thank you. What about Imna Banlawati Nina? The positive side is that they are all very gorgeous and glamorous. We don't have to say anything about it. And since this is a model hunt, I think they have got what it takes to be. So yeah, a little bit of confidence and they're done. <laughs> okay, so um, all right. You are cheering on you know, your friends or your daughters and your sons as well. So we wish you all the best, no doubt. Our contestants are giving the best and whenever you're on stage and doing something, you know, um, which is out of your comfort zone, of course, um, with the challenges, you have so many things that takes in. However, our contestants are giving the best, so no doubt we believe that at the end of the show, the deserving one will be the winners. And uh, not just the winners, we have some um, subtitles who will be the winners of them, some six categories of subtitles as well so please wait for that ladies and gentlemen we are done with the second round we have had the in summer designer wear round as well as the second round that was traditional round and we eagerly wait for the final round that is for the formal round which we will have in no time as we move on i now welcome on stage Performance of dance by the wonderful Percy and Kuwaisha. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage Percy and Kuwaisha for a dance performance. An amazing performance from Menusili Zasumo. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage Menusili Zasumo for a very special presentation.
presence of Mr. and Ms. Malkao Mohan 2022. A huge round of applause to all our contestants. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join with me in welcoming on stage our official designer of the show. to the end of the top seven as well as the subtitles. Finally, we have come to the moment of truth. At this point, I'll be declaring the winners of the six subtitles in both the male and the female categories. What do you think who won the subtitles? Take a deep breath, all the contestants, the 24 contestants, vying for the title of Mr. and Miss Mega Model Hunt 2022. You have done a wonderful job. Your effort was nothing than the best. Thank you for all your effort that you've put in. And without further ado, we will now be declaring the result of the subtitle winners. To do the honor of our sub first subtitle winner, I request Ape Puro, Director, Life Fitness on stage to do the honor. And the winner of the best physique of Mr. Mega Model Hound 2022 goes to contestant number four. Congratulations, contestant number four. The winner of best, best physique in the female category of Miss Mega Model Hunt 2022 goes to contestant number 11.
congratulations, contestant number 11. Thank you, sir. Moving on again, we have the remaining three subtitle winners. To do the honor of our next subtitle winner, I request Cecilia to come on over stage. Cecilia. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Best Ethnic Wear of Mr. Mega Model Hunt 2022 goes to contestant number one. Congratulations, contestant number one. The winner of Best Ethnic Wear, the winner of Best Ethnic Wear of Miss Mega Model Hunt 2022 goes to contestant number eight. Ladies and gentlemen, revealing the remaining two winners of the subtitles. Mr. Popular goes to contestant number nine. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Miss Popular goes to contestant number two. Congratulations, Miss Popular, backed by contestant number two. Thank you. Moving on, and finally, the last winner for subtitle. And to do this honor, I request our patron, Mr. Yamli Palman, staged. 
our patron, Mr. Yamli Palm on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, the last subtitle remaining and the winner Congratulations, contestant number eight on a winning Miss Perfecta. Congratulations to all the winners and of course the remaining contestants as well. All of you are winners. A huge round of applause to all the winners of the subtitles, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations, give it up, you deserve it. And we believe in no particular order, Miss Mega Model Hunt 2022. Our top seven contestant goes to contestant number five. Moving on again for Mr. Mega Model Hunt 2022, joining the top seven, begins with contestant number one. Miss Mega Model Hunt Top 7 goes to contestant number 6. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, joining the Top 7 of Mr. Mega Model Hunt. Up next, we have contestant number three. <laughs> Joining top seven, Miss Mega 2022. Contestant number eight. 
joining the next spot of Mr. Mega Model Hum 2022, contestant number six. Next for the game of Miss Mega Model Hunt 2022, contestant number nine. Top seven, Mr. Mega Model Hunt 2022, contestant number nine. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have the last each in both the male and the female category. Who do you think are joining the team? The top seven. All right, moving on. Joining top seven, Miss Mega Model Hunt 2022, contestant number 11. Joining the top seven, contestant number 11. The last two spots in each of the category. Miss Mega Model Hunt 2022, joining the top seven, contestant number 12. Joining the top seven, Mr. Mega Modern 2022, contestant number 10. We just have the remaining two spots. I already have the result here and time for the result for the last two spots. Joining the top seven, Miss Mega Mont Hunt 2022 goes to contestant number and finally the last spot of Mr. Mega Model Hunt 2022. And the last spot goes to contestant number 12.
congratulations to all our top seven winners in both the male and female categories vying to be the ultimate winner of Mr. and Ms. Mega Model Hunt 2022. Well done. And congratulations to all the contestants standing here on stage. You have given your best. We pour out our love, our respect, our honor for all the effort that you've put in. And this is just one step ahead in your life of all the dreams, the ambitions, the plans that you have in your life. Congratulations and appreciate all your efforts. So a huge round of applause to all our contestants. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, so this is, these are our top seven in both categories of male and female vying for the title of Mr. and Miss Mega Model Hunt 2022. Before we proceed on Yes, I once again wish to congratulate all the contestants and um, yeah, the remaining top seven. You'll be taking the questions. So we will proceed with the question round now. The contestants in this round, that is the final round, the question round. The contestants will be asked questions. They will be picking up the judges, the number of the judges. And the judges at the pick, the judges will be asking the questions to all the contestants. And after this final round, the ultimate winner will be announced. I hope the cheats are ready. I humbly request the host to go according to jury one, two, three. We have one, two, three number. Right, so we have the numbers ready of the judges. To take on the first question, we will now have in the female category, contestant number five. Okay, contestant number five, she picked judge number one, judge number one. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Okay, my question tonight is, do you think winning this title will help you in your personal as well as in your professional life in future? And if so, how? 
Well, thank you, ma'am, for your question. And yes, I think that winning this title will make me to fulfill my dream and also inspire and encourage the other girls who also aspire to become or take or participate in a pageant because pageants are, are a platform that gives every girl to fulfill their dreams and it builds up their confidence. So that's all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Mega Model Hunt Top 7, contestant number one. Judge number three. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. My question to you is, what makes a model different from a supermodel? First of all, a very good evening to each everyone present here again. <clears throat> and thank you, thank you for the question, Miss. So, according to me, a model is someone who inspires the younger generation and also helps to improvise as well as uh, as well as create a change in the society and then the model according to me a model is someone who is humble kind and intelligent and uh, uh, sorry <clears throat> and to me and according to me a supermodel to me they are similar with the model but then <clears throat> sorry according to me the super, uh, according to me, the model and supermodel for me. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Mega Model Hunt 2022. Top 7 spot. Taking the question. Contestant number 6. Judge number three. Hello, beautiful. Hello, ma'am. My question to you is very simple. Why did you become a model? Thank you so much, ma'am, for your question. Why did I become a model? Well, it is because I have always wanted to try something new in my life since I'm still young and I chose to become a model so that I could inspire the youth and those who wanted to choose this model as an option. I also believe I have firm courage and determination as well as the confidence to become a model and grow better in the future. Thank you so much. Top seven in the boys category. Taking the question, contestant number three. Judge number two. Success. Thank you so much, sir, for the question. First of all, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, present out here. Success, according to me, is to be happy in life, and if I could make a sad soul or if I could save a single soul and make them smile 
then that would be a big success for me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Moving on. Top seven in the female category, taking the question. Contestant number eight. Judge number one. Contestant number eight. What does it mean to be a modern woman? Do you want me to repeat the question? Yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your question. To be a modern woman should be different from the other women. To be a modern woman should not be about the dressing styles and all, but also to have a specific ideas of to lead the women empowerment also in, in this in this a very particular society. Because when you look at the other other societies in the practice, we know that like women are uh, they didn't get any uh, rights to do the things and they are followed to do the rules and regulations under the uh, in the rural areas. But now as it is a technological world, we can also we can also do what we like as a woman. There, there should be no discrimination that women can't be a modern woman. But to be a modern woman, we should set in a good example to act and inspire the other women also. Thank you so much. Really, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Mega Mohan 2022, top seven, the next contestant. Taking the question, contestant number six. Judge number two. Describe yourself in three words. So much grateful for the question, sir. As expected, your question turns out to be as brilliant as you. <laughs> My humble answer to your wise question is, I am so determined, confident, and positive. Thank you. Our contestants are not only stunning, gorgeous, and handsome, but they are brilliant, they are smart, they are wise as well. And I believe the judges will agree with me on that. Moving on. Top seven, taking the question in the female category, contestant number nine. Judge number two again. What is the biggest challenge younger girls face today? Thank you so much, sir, for the question. The biggest challenge faced by the girls today is not, not being an independent woman, always under the rules and regulations of the persons and discriminate, they face sexual harassment and also 
not getting the rights, though the, article, though the Constitution has given the rights to the female. Thank you. Thank you. On top seven in the male category, taking the question, contestant number nine. Judge two again. Who is your role model? Ekpai. Thank you so much for the questions, sir. I would say that my role model it's no one, it's me. It's myself because I believe in me and when no one is there in life, I could build my career with my trust, with my patience and with my determinations. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. We have the remaining six contestants on top seven category taking the question. Contestant number 11. Judge two again. If you win today uh, this title, so can you, uh, what do you say for young uh, generation? Okay sir, so thank you so much for your question. If I win the title today, Miss, uh, Mrs. Mega Model Han, then I will inspire my younger generation to come up of your comfort zone and be a pageant. Be a pageant so that you can inspire someone other to be a pageant and we need thank you. Next contestant, contestant number 11. Judge one. Contestant number 11, I have a very interesting question for you, so I, I want you to think and answer, all right? all right? If you had to sacrifice something in your life to become successful, what would that be and why? Well, first of all, thank you, ma'am, for the question. Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. My answer to this would be the one thing that I would lose is the laziness that I have within me, inside me, because this laziness will not take me further, nor success can lead, nor could I be on a point that I could be a successful person. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe you are enjoying and going with the flow of the question round. Um, we are getting a lot of uh, relevant and smart questions from the three judges and very smart answers from our contestants as well. Moving on, our next contestant taking the question is contestant number 12. Judge three. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, ma'am. My question to you is, 
what is your view for sustainable fashion industry in Maglen? Can you please repeat the question again? Sure. What is your view for sustainable fashion industry in Naglen? Thank you ma'am for the question. According to me, sustainable fashion in Naglen is 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 good and it's taking the younger and it's taking the younger generations and it's taking the younger generations and the young girls boys younger girls and boys to know to know its potential and stand for the right and to fight for the right. Thank you. Thank you. Next contestant taking the question. Contestant number 10. Judge one. Contestant number ten. What is your philosophy of life in life and what do you value most in your life? Thank you very much for the cushion. And the cushion was wonderful. <laughs> and lovely too. And my answer will be my biggest, my philosophy is live your life once because life comes only once and you have to enjoy the life that God had, God had given you. And no matter what, whether you, wherever you are, where, whatever you do, you do everything and give your best in everything what you do. Thank you. I believe that was an honest answer. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the last two contestants taking the question. Contestant number 10. Judge one. Contestant number 12. Yes, ma'am. Are women given equal opportunities as men in Nagaland? For a question, in my opinion, um, no, women are not given enough opportunity comparing to men because women are always looked down and men are always looked up. Thank you. Thank you. And a last contestant taking the question. Contestant number two of. Judge two. What is the current national policy you would change? Thank you so much for the question, sir. So, if I were given the opportunity to change a current national policy that it would be the education system.
because when we change the education system and we make it more favorable for the kids and the upcoming generation, then not only we are educating them in a wise manner, but we are educating an upcoming entire generation, which will overall lead to the social economic growth of the country. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the leader on stage for the word of thanks.
Standing five feet seven tall. She's passionate about singing and helps around the house with the chores. Contestant number one. Twenty years of age, standing five point two feet tall. In his leisure time, he likes to write poems, to stay away from the dull reality, and loves to cook and to make himself sane and happy. That's number six. L. Chong Po, nineteen years of age. Standing five feet seven tall, she loves reading and playing basketball in her free time, and aspires to be an IS officer in the near future. Contestant number three, Visale Anar, twenty years of age, standing five point nine foot tall. In his leisure time, he loves playing the basketball, traveling, and singing, as it gives him relaxation and brings him peace of mind. Contestant number eight, Shamsla S. Sangtum, 24 years of age, standing five feet three tall. She's an extrovert lady with a positive mindset and takes correction as direction, not rejection. Contestant number six, Teja Vizo and her, 19 years of age, standing 5.7 feet tall. In his leisure time, he loves watching to motivational videos online and listening to music. Contestant number nine. Bethetola Shijo. 19 years of age. Standing 5 feet 6 tall. Love playing basketball and the Naga instrument called Tati and aspires to become an air hostess. Contestant number nine. Ganshon Sosoli, 21 years of age, standing 5.8 feet eight tall. In his leisure time, he loves playing football, because it helps him to develop his physical fitness and also he loves traveling. Contestant number 10. Rakovili Vatmai. 19 years of age. Standing 5.3 feet tall. She enjoys playing basketball, cooking and making embroidery designs. She aspired to become a flight attendant. Contestant number 10. Sikum Sangtam. 22 years of age, standing 5.8 feet tall. In his leisure time, he loves to play the guitar, singing, and he also loves to dance. in doing cross and resin works, plays badminton and aspires to become a successful civil servant. Contestant number 11. Sambolong Jamir, 21 years of age, standing 5.11 feet tall. In his leisure time, he loves to spend in lyric writing, creating music, and playing basketball. Contestant number 12. Kisuno Kehi. 18 years of age. Standing 
four and six tall. During her leisure time, she loves experimenting with makeups. Singing and writing poem delights her. Contestant number 12, Joy Sudradhar, 22 years of age, standing 5.11 feet tall. In his leisure time, he loves writing poems, scripts, and also he loves doing fitness workout. gentlemen, there are our top seven contestants in both the male and the female categories vying for the title of Mr. and Miss Mega Model Hunt 2022. Once again, a huge massive round of applause to all the contestants that are here. All right. The moment of truth has finally come. However, before that, we sincerely appreciate. However, before we declare the winner of this year's Mega Model Winners 2022, we would now call on stage the winner of the first season, Mega, Mr. Mega Model Hunt 2022, the second runners-up, Mr. Swedevi Naro on stage. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the first season, second runners-up, Mr. Mega Model Hunt 2022. Thank you. Season 2 goes to contestant number 2. Miss Mega Model Hunt 2022 goes to contestant number more suspense. Mega Model Hunt. Second season 2022 goes to contestant number nine. Congratulations, contestant number nine on winning the title of Miss Mega Mall 2022. Mega Model Hunt 2022 goes to contestant number more suspense. Mega Model Hunt. Second season 2022 
goes to contestant number nine.